are good and your mercies endure forever. The card later. And I'll start because the lady at the store, I think she nodded that thing three times. <laughs> I'm just watching her going, come on. <laughs> well, so not now and maybe not in five years, but someday you'll leave your daddy's house and your mom's house. And we won't talk about that, but it's the beginning of your life. And you're going to have I know, but somebody has to say it. <laughs> But you know, there's a, I prayed that the Lord would give me a verse. And, uh, and I said, Do I really have to read that in front of your father? <laughs> and go, look at that. Yeah, you have it underlined. You have it all in yellow. <laughs> Listen, old daughter, consider and give ear. Forget your people and your father's house. I'm tired of it. You know what I mean. <laughs> the king is enthralled by your beauty. Mm. Honor him. For he is your Lord. And so you'll have days when the people who love you and who know all of you are far away. But the little box that I gave you is a prayer box. Because you can always tell God what you need. Because he made you. And he is enthralled by your beauty. The Lord hangs on your every word. When you call to him, he's just waiting. And when this world tells you that you live a different life, well, the way you do things is funny. Just remember that you've got a daddy upstairs who's always available, who hangs on your every word, who waits for you to call, and who loves you, knowing all the bad inside of you and all the good inside of you. Loves you just the same. He has no illusions of you. He knows you and loves you and is enthralled by you. Thank you. For you are good. And your mercies endure. <laughs>